Doc Talk is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals. Hey folks, welcome to Doc Talk. Sure glad you joined us. We have an exciting show. We're on location today at Cross Country Genetics just north of Manhattan, Kansas, a business that Dr. Kirk Gray, Dr. Clay Briner, and Dr. Joel Anderson have running and gunning. It's embryo transfer today on Doc Talk, and thanks for joining us. As dependable as the sunrise, in dairy parlors, open pastures, on ranches and feed yards across America, a place where reputation is more than a name, where the science of healthier animals is a way of life. It's the responsibility that drives who we are and what we do. Every decision, every day. It's your livelihood and our responsibility. Closed caption brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value. to you by the new hired hand portable cow sprayer for more information visit cowsprayer.com hey folks welcome to doc talk i'm dr dan thompson i'm here with dr joel anderson and we're at cross country genetics today and i'm excited about the show because we're going to talk about embryo transfer in beef cattle and uh, dr joel thanks for being with us well thanks for having us um glad to be a part of this and talk about embryo transfer um as cross country genetics is a company we are housed in home places here in Manhattan, Kansas, just north of Manhattan. Um, we actually also have a clinic in Crescent, Oklahoma. Um, we travel about four to five states doing embryo transfer work, so it's kind of a delight for us to get to talk to you guys today and kind of tell you what we do. Well, I think it's one of those things that, it, you know, we've, we've watched the, the improvement in technology throughout the, the decades, you know, and, and AI really took off, and, and now we're going to the next level, and embryo transfer is just one of those tools that's, that's really catching fire and really becoming prominent in our, in our quality herds. Yeah, and it's, it's really made a, a huge impact on the beef industry here in Kansas, and, you know, I grew up in Ohio, and it's, it's doing the same thing there, um, and it's been really unique to go to bull sales you know a lot of our customers are, are bull clients and, and you know they're really trying to produce a quality set of bulls that commercial guys can come in and purchase and embryo transfers allowed them to really increase the amount of cons consistency that's in those genetics um, and it's been really unique and really cool so talk to me a little bit about embryo transfer and, and just kind of what are the the general stages so th so the embryo transfer process pretty much starts with the donor cow um, you know she's kind of the most important of of the whole the whole process and gets the ball really rolling. Um, that requires somebody to, to determine which cow they want to use. Um, and as a cow, she has the opportunity to have multiple calves throughout her lifetime. Um, you know, much as we've figured out how to tap into the genetics on the AI side and semen production in bulls, cows also have a huge reserve of oocytes in their ovaries. Um, the embryo transfer process allows us to harvest those oocytes as embryos, seven-day-old embryos, and then transfer those. So we can take one cow that, you know, in a normal lifetime, normal production, 10 to 12 calves, maybe 15 calves if she lasts a long time, we can easily do that or double that in one single year. Wow. So we get the opportunity for these cows to, to really impact the genetic pool and the genetic options of a particular herd. So that cow will come to us. Um, we go through a synchronization standpoint. Um, that process at Cross Country Genetics takes about 30 to 31 days. Um, she goes through a synchronization. We get her in the appropriate window of her follicular cycle. Um, we introduce her to some follicle stimulating hormone, um, which is a, an FSH product that over about eight injections, um, they go ahead and, and will stimulate those cows. We'll inseminate them and then seven days later, we'll harvest the embryos. Um, those embryos then we can go ahead and transfer fresh into recipients or we can freeze them um, and they look like just normal AI straws at that point. They're just in quarter cc straws that we can cryopreserve and as so far as we know they last forever. So um, you'll so you'll go in and, and uh, inseminate that cow after you mm -hmm. after you flush or after you get the, the eggs. 
and, and then you'll flush those embryos out and yep. collect the embryos. Yep, so it's a multiple ovulation process. So instead of a single ovulation that most cows have, she'll ovulate multiple oocytes and then we'll fertilize multiple oocytes and we'll retrieve those as embryos at seven days after she's been in heat and after she's been inseminated. So she essentially could have a litter instead of a single yeah, cow. Yeah, sound like a sow, yep. not a cow. Yep. All right, well, let's take a break. Folks, we're gonna come back after commercial with Dr. Joel Anderson out here at Cross Country Genetics in Manhattan, Kansas. We'll see you after these messages. This Meet the Future Veterinarian is brought to you by Zuprivo. Choose confidence. Choose Zuprivo for BRD treatment. Julia Herman took a winding path to become a veterinarian with inspiration as a child from National Geographic books, then with a bachelor's in zoology and a master's in epidemiology. After graduation from Colorado State's College of Veterinary Medicine, Julia plans on finding a position that combines livestock and wildlife medicine, epidemiology, research, and public health. Some call it a come from behind victory, an unlikely win, a reversal of fortune, snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. This is our moment, our victory dance, because we choose confidence. We choose Zuprivo for BRD treatment. Ask your veterinarian to prescribe Zuprivo. Zuprivo is a fast acting, long lasting BRD treatment that you can count on to get the job done. Choose confidence. Choose Zuprivo from Merck Animal Health. Healthy cows start with the new Hired Hand Automatic Livestock Sprayer. Rancher invented to provide an efficient alternative to pour on and injectable parasite management systems. The portable design allows cattle to treat themselves head to hoof. Strategic device placement with pass-through activation technology takes the stress out of parasite treatment for cattle and the rancher. Get the new Hired Hand for yourself or become a distributor. Visit cowsprayer.com. The new Hired Hand makes healthy cows easy. Calves require adequate, high-quality colostrum immediately following birth to receive the immune and nutritional support needed to fight diseases and thrive. Next Generation Colostrix Colostrum Replacer and Supplement are USDA licensed to aid in the treatment of failure of passive transfer and contain natural maternal bovine colostrum antibodies against E. coli K99. Ask your animal health supplier for Colostrix or visit agrilabs.com for details. Colostrix makes all systems go. Hey folks, Dr. Dan from Doc Talk here. Thanks for joining us today. Our guest is Dr. Joel Anderson here at Cross Country Genetics, where we've been talking about embryo transfer, and it's, it's one of those things that's made a huge impact on our industry and the people here at Cross Country Genetics, and Dr. Anderson does a wonderful job, and we, we left off with, we got them in the straw. Okay, so we're halfway home, right? So, yep, so we've, <laughs> we've collected the cow, and um, you know, we've come into a process that looks similar to what here's, is here behind us with the microscope and the lab, and that's actually where we are today, is sitting in our lab. So we've got those embryos, we've evaluated them. Um, at that point, we make a decision whether to freeze those embryos or to transfer them fresh. Um, and once we make that decision, a lot of embryos, at about 60%, 60 to 70% of the embryos in the industry are frozen. Um, so the cryopreservation process is hugely important. So we'll freeze those embryos. They're frozen in a quarter cc straw. Looks just like what you would get in a sex semen straw if you'd purchase that from any, you know, bull stud. Um, and inside that straw is just one embryo. So that's potential to make one calf. We'll freeze those. We'll put those st straws, store them in liquid nitrogen. At that point, we have get a producer that calls us up, says we want to, you know, synchronize a set of recipients. We want to make some transfers. So those... Recipients will go through a normal synchronization like we would do for a timed AI or an AI event period. Um, we'll record and check heats on those cows. We'll come out seven days after they've been in heat. So we've removed those embryos from a seven day uterus out of the donor and we're gonna put them back gotcha. into a seven day uterus in the recipient side. So that heat detection, that record keeping is vital for our success and vital for our client's success. So we show back up on the farm. Um, we then take those embryos that we've you know, frozen, cryopreserved, we're gonna thaw them just in a manner that looks very similar to AI. Um, we use a warm water bath. We don't thaw them at quite the same temperature. It's a little bit cooler water bath than semen, but we'll thaw those embryos. Um, the direct transfer process that uses ethylene glycol, which is our cryoprotectant, allows us to directly take those embryos and transfer them into a cow. So some people may have started with embryo transfer quite a few years ago, and we used to freeze them in glycerol. 
that required us setting up a scope when we went to the farm that no longer happens. So you had to wash them out of that. Glycerol. So you had to you had to dilute them out of the glycerol and allow those embryos to then be viable and, and productive. You couldn't just transfer them straight out of the glycerol. So we go ahead and we'll thaw those embryos. Um, you know, we palpate the cows to evaluate whether or not they have a corpus luteum or a CL that's present. Um, we need that to be able to make a pregnancy. So. As a veterinarian, I'm palpating the cow. I'm telling you know whether or not this cow is going to work, whether or not we're going to transfer. We'll thaw an embryo. We'll load a gun. Looks very similar to an AI gun. We'll make that transfer. It's all non-surgical. Um, deposit the embryo, and she goes on, and, that, and that's the whole process. Wow. So, what what about picking recipient cows? What are some of the things you tell people as far as what cows so, to pick? So we get a wide variety. Um, you know, we get the sale barn cows, we get the heifers, we get you know old cows, we get the poor quality cows. Um, it kind of very varies and depends, but we like a young middle-aged cow um, that's kind of stopped in her growth, per, you know, growth curve. She's only worrying about lactating now. Those cows work really, really well for us. Um, I've had a few people in my young career talk to me very much and say, our recipient animals make and break our embryo transfer program. A lot of people think about the donor, right. but it's truly the recipients that can really make or break your, your embryo transfer program and really make you successful. Cool. When we come back, we're going to start talking about how you can incorporate embryo transfer into your herd, regardless of what type of herd or what type of program you have. If you're watching Doc Talk, we're sure glad you joined us. The BQA Tip of the Day, sponsored by Beringer Engelheim Vet Medica Inc. Hello, this is Shane Terrell with Production Animal Consultation here with the BQA tip of the day. Today we'd like to talk about arrival procedures on newly arrived calves. This is a set of new cattle that just arrived this morning. Um, it's really important that we have adequate feed, uh, some roughage in the bunk, so when they arrive in that pen they have feed in the bunk, they have a clean uh, and easily accessible water source, uh, enough space to lie down if, if desired. Uh, cl a clean space to lie down and, and adequate bunk space so all those animals can get to the, the bunk all at the same time. Also we'd like to look at, for how many cattle after arrival for a few couple hours are standing, lying down or resting, where resting where they're tucking their, their head uh, underneath themselves uh, to identify pens that which need more acclimation and, and more work in those pens. It must be a, uh, an inherited trait because I have never wanted to do anything other than be in the cattle business. And it's interesting as I have grandchildren now, little bitty ones, all they want to do is go to the barn, swing a rope, and be a cowboy. It's, it's something, it's a, it's a lifestyle that we have, the way we make a living obviously, but it's really more than that. It gives us the opportunity as a family to be able to work together and enjoy each other's company and make a living at the same time. We've been using Triangle for years, uh, and the reason we do it's been safe and effective, and we're going to continue to do that. We'll put the cows in the chute twice a year, spring and fall. 100% of our cattle get vaccinated with Triangle. No matter where, no matter why, the Veterinary Health Center at Kansas State University is committed to providing quality patient care to animals and exceptional customer service to their owners. From routine checkups to emergency and specialty care, our world-renowned specialists and experienced professionals are here to discover, to teach, and to heal. Let us know. How can I help? How can we help? Norfenicol, Florfenicol, is an excellent first-choice broad-spectrum antibiotic for the treatment and control of BRD and the treatment of foot rot. It offers a shorter sub-Q withdrawal time and is more syringable than other Florfenicol cattle antibiotics on the market. Norfenicol also addresses the issue of breakage with their new plastic bottles. Observe label directions and withdrawal times. See product labeling for full product information, including warnings and precautions. Fight the most common and costly disease affecting the beef cattle industry with Norfenicol from Norbrook. 
Broadband has become as important to us as highways. That is why Doc Talk is teaming up with NTCA, the Rural Broadband Association, and rural broadband companies like Blue Valley Telecommunications in fighting for quality broadband access through the program Smart Rural Communities. I don't think we have any idea what's coming in the future. I couldn't have imagined five years ago what we're doing today. So in two years, I would guess there's things we can't imagine that we're going to be doing. To learn more, visit ntca.org forward slash smart or bluevalley.net. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. True Test Group. Weighing systems, electronic identification, EID, electric fencing, and dairy automation systems help farmers and ranchers around the world manage the performance of their livestock for ultimate profitability. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here with Dr. Joel Anderson. We're at Cross Country Genetics outside of Manhattan, Kansas. We're talking about embryo transfer, and we've gone through the process of embryo transfer. And now, you know, there are different types of herds that, mm -hmm. you know, with different ways they could participate in embryo transfer and, and so let's start going through some of the scenarios that that you work with yeah so so we get a variety of clients that we work with um, and a variety of ways that we can incorporate embryo transfer into their program um, you know one of the kind of the stepping stones or one of the ways that a lot of people get introduced to embryo transfer is they decide they go to a sale and they see a package of embryos and they call them then they call us and say what do we do with them next? So, you know, that's kind of one way that a lot of people get in is they purchase embryos through a sale and then they want to put those into recipients and get those calves that they've purchased those genetics. That's kind of an easy way. Um, all you need to do is have some recipients that you can set up. Like I said before, you know, we just direct transfer those embryos, transfer them right in and looks similar to, to just AI. Yep. The other option is to go through the whole process of incorporating a donor cow. Most of our seed stock type operations, your purebred operations, that's who we work with on that side. They have a select set of animals, kind of their upper echelon or their top tier of cows that they want to really propagate those genetics. And then they use the rest of their cow herd as recipients to, to make those genetics valuable and, and flourish for them. So that's another option. That's a kind of what we consider a total or a complete embryo transfer program is a set of donors, a set of recipients, and we kind of do the whole thing on their place. The other option that you could get involved in embryo transfer is we work with quite a few what we call cooperator herds. These are just commercial cow herds, um, you know, commercial cows, just the same as we're going to sell a wean calf product at the mm -hmm. end of the year, or maybe we're going to retain ownership. They're out there just selling a commodity product essentially at that point. What we do with them is they say, you know, we'd really like to gain a premium on our calves. And we're always looking, you know, what can we do to, to add value to our calves? So we'll come in, we'll pair them with a seed stock producer. And we've always got seed stock producers that are looking for cows to put embryos into. Right. Um, they come to us and say, you know, we'd really like to make some transfers. We'd like to get some, some extra value out of these calves. So we'll go in, we'll work with that cooperator herd. We'll help them with their synchronization. We'll help them with their cow management. Organize and orchestrate that whole process between the seed stock producer and them as well. Um, you know, we kind of help both parties as that to, to make it as a successful day as possible for all of us involved. And we'll just show up and we'll transfer embryos. So they synchronize cows, they heat check for us. And we show up and we so, seven days later put them in. So how do they, how do a lot of the financial uh, work with like a cooperator herd. So that so that varies and it's unique with with each opportunity. You know, I've been exposed to some places where you know guys really want bulls. Mm -hmm. So you know they'll they'll put embryos in. They'll say, you guys can keep a select set of the heifers and retain those as replacements in your cow herd. That gives those commercial producers an opportunity to really access some valuable genetics that they can keep back as as heifers. And you know the the bull customer, the bull client that we have that really wants to add bulls to their bull sale gets what they want as well. They get more transfers made, more calves can add that to their bull sale. The other option is, is some of the pricing schedule is just go on steer price at the end of the year and then add a premium. So gotcha. it's a weaned calf, um, the seed stock producer, the supplier of the embryos just buys all of the calves back and then they do what, with them what they see fit. So it it's varies from place to place. It also varies on how the pricing structure is done and, and it depends on the producer. Sounds good. Well, folks, we're going to take a break. It's been a wonderful show. Dr. Joel Anderson, Cross Country Genetics. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll wrap up out here north of Manhattan, Kansas. Thanks for watching.
calves require adequate, high-quality colostrum immediately following birth to receive the immune and nutritional support needed to fight diseases and thrive. Next Generation Colostrix Colostrum Replacer and Supplement are USDA licensed to aid in the treatment of failure of passive transfer and contain natural maternal bovine colostrum antibodies against E. coli K99. Ask your animal health supplier for Colostrix or visit agrilabs.com for details. Colostrix makes all systems go. Hello friends, I'm Ernie Rodina. And I'm Don Dawson with the Better Horses Radio Show. For over nine years, we've been bringing the Better Horses Radio Show to markets all across the Midwest. We talk about God, lots about horses. We talk about cows, we talk about horse health, we talk to top trainers, and we even talk about Roy Rogers. We're having a blast with Better Horses Radio Show and would love to take it to a market near you. So visit our website at betterhorsesradio.com and let us or your local radio station know you'd like to hear it in your area. The Better Horses Radio Show is unbelievable. This hog is Hanover Hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. Beef producers asked for it, and the wait is over. Enroflox 100 Enrofloxacin from Norbrook, now approved for single-dose treatment and control of bovine respiratory disease. With the same active ingredient and dosing regimen as Batril 100 in beef and non-lactating dairy cattle. Choose Enrofloxacin 100 when looking for an injectable antimicrobial solution to treat and control BRD. Observe label directions and withdrawal times. See product labeling for full product information, including warnings and precautions. Consult your veterinarian to see if Enrofloxacin 100 is right for your cattle. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hey folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. Dr. Dan Thompson here with Dr. Joel Anderson. We're out at Cross Country Genetics. We're sure glad you joined us today. We've had a great show talking about embryo transfer. And you know, as we were talking during the break, there's some, some general statistics that you go through with your mm -hmm. clients as, as you set these types of of, of procedures up and let's just kind of go through some of the expectations. Yeah, so, so one of the biggest questions we get a lot of times when people want to venture into embryo transfer is, you know, what do I expect? Um, you know, how many embryos am I going to get out of a donor cow? How many pregnancies am I going to generate? Those are very common questions that we receive. Um, the one thing that I always temper all of these discussions with is we're working with biological systems. Right. You know, if it's, it's not like the auto mechanic shop. There's really no black and white in what we deal with, but we do have a set of averages that kind of guide our clients and guide our decision making and guide whether or not we're being productive at what we're doing. Um, so as an average across essentially the entire United States and across the world, you, you're gonna expect about six to seven, seven to eight viable embryos per collection. And that's speaking beef cattle. Dairy cattle is gonna be a little bit less, um, but we, we tell clients to expect seven to eight viable embryos per collection. Clearly an average. Some cows, single egg producers, some of them you get 20 to 30 in a collection. So it just varies. But we kind of expect about seven. Um, we look at the recipient side and, and people want to say, well, how many pregnancies am I going right. to generate? Um, and we tell clients on frozen embryos, we would expect those to perform 50 to 60%. So okay. 50 to 60% of the transfers that you make should result in babies. Um, on the fresh side, and that's, that's with frozen embryo transfer. If we go ahead and transfer them fresh and they don't go through the cryopreservation process, we'd expect an increase in about 10%. So okay. 60 to 70% of the transfers that we make um, you know, should result in live calves. The other kind of standard and metric that we kind of talk about a lot, especially with our commercial producers that are looking at working on the, um, you know, as a cooperator herd, is we really strive to be able to come in and we think in one transfer event we'd like for them to be able to have 50% of the calves born to be ET out of one transfer event. That's kind of our metric. It's a challenge to, to reach that, but that looks at synchronizing cows, realizing we're going to get 80 to you know, hopefully better than 80%, 80 to 90% of them into heat, and then we're, we hope to transfer to about 90% of them. And then if we look wow. at that 50 to 60%, we can really have a chance in one transfer event, one round of transfers to make 50% of the so, cows they set up have an ET calf. So then you're going to come in early and, and ultrasound and, and confirm pregnancy so that they, if they don't take, 
Yep. You can get those cows bred. Yeah, and we actually have an opportunity where a lot of clients we go to every three weeks. So we can do a resynchronization process. We'll cedar those cows that we transfer to. We'll pull cedars. We'll watch return heats off of those cows and we can transfer to them again. Okay. So some of our clients will transfer, you know, three rounds a year and make them a lot of embryo transfer calves. I'll be. Well, thanks for being on the show and, and thanks for the service that you're providing yep. out here to, to folks in Kansas and Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. and the four or five state region that y'all travel. Yep. And uh, thanks for all you do for K-State letting us have our <laughs> students bop around too. Not a problem, not a problem. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching Doc Talk. If you want to know more about what I do at Kansas State University, you can find us on the web at www.vet.ksu.edu. Remember, always work with your local veterinarian. Thanks for watching Doc Talk today. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson, and I'll see you down the road. Closed caption brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value. For more information about this program or previous programs, go to DocTalkTV.com. DocTalk was brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals.